phase out and just air coming out. Here we go. No sound, just air. You don't have to push it, just stop. No going in. stretch and it's so good for you though, yes. <laughs> yes, because you, you're, um, there's a lot of air going in, in there. So we only do this for a short time, but we might want to do it a number of times. But you'll definitely dry out your throat, that's correct. All right, now let's see what other exercises. Now this is a great exercise. Who here has done any chanting, any... Tibetan or Indian chanting before? Ooh, 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 ooh. What is that? Okay, chanting? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to tell you right now. Good. Now, this chanting is very good for your throat. I usually wake up first thing in the morning, do three minutes of chanting, and it just sets your throat up for the day. <coughs> so your throat is, your larynx isn't going to be in a great position for the, for the whole day. Now, we're only going to go through this once, but I just want to tell you the word so that you can go away and remember it. Okay, so the word is Nom Yo Ho Renge Kyo. Nom Yo Ho Renge Kyo. Nom Yo Ho Renge Kyo. Now let it start coming to sing. Nom Yo Ho Renge Kyo. Nom Yo Ho Let me just say this one thing and then we'll, we'll, uh, you can say you, ask your question. So what we would normally do is we start the chant on a particular um, uh, a note and then we go up by half steps, okay, so you keep increasing it. It's very good just to get your throat all warmed up as well for the day and it, it's a very good voice strengthening exercise. Okay, now our question here please. <laughs> you know what it does? It kind of hypnotises yourself and it sends out special vibrations to the universe. So, yes. Is it like meditating or something? It's exactly like that, yes. It's actually an open eye meditation. So, you're doing some great things for yourself just doing this chant apart from your voice. Alright, um, now we've got one more quick exercise that we're going to do, yes? No, there's no, I would, not that I know of. I don't. You could make up your own chain. Yeah, you could make up your own. Yeah. But is there any specific thing you need to do? The great thing about this chant is that because of the, the way that the words are together, like the consonants, the myo, nom, myo, ho, what it does is that it sets you up to say all of the vowels very clearly. Okay. Okay, so that's why I use that particular chant. So your, your throat is in the most perfect position it can be to actually say these things. Yes. All right, one more exercise. Who's ever heard an ambulance going past? Yes, I'm sure we all have. <laughs> what we're going to learn to do is what we call sirening. 
And sirening is, again, also very good for your voice and it gets you positioning again your throat and your tongue in the right place. I want you to say the word sing. Sing. And that mm G at the end. Hold on to that sing. Sing. And now that NG is what we're going to use to siren. So if you need to start off going sing. Guys, okay, so start off the sing. Great, up and down, backwards and forwards. Lovely. <laughs> okay, his voice is tired now after all those warm ups. <laughs> okay, we have one more question over here. Kind of. <laughs> Mom, I don't want to eat that. Mom, no. Yes, it's exactly like whining. <laughs> All right. Let's quickly talk about voice placement. So, if you just want to, guys, want to take a seat for one second. Relax your feet. You've been working hard. All right. 